It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at Helvetia. In the 1920s, West Virginia was marketed as Little Switzerland, or the Switzerland of America. The comparison of the Appalachian Mountains to the Swiss Alps never took hold but it did cast light on one of the state's most unique communities, Helvetia. During the Civil War, immigrants from Switzerland came to the United States in abundance. One group living in Brooklyn, New York, formed a society called Groot Livering, and they made a pact to move to a new place that felt more like home. After the war, a man from their society named Eisler surveyed West Virginia's mountains and recommended a location in Randolph County. Encouraged by land agents in Clarksburg, the society moved to the mountainous plot of land equally distant from Buchanan to the north and Webster Springs to the south. 100 acres was used to create a community center to conduct commerce and matters of faith. They named their town Helvetia, the national personification of Switzerland, similar to the U.S.'s Uncle Sam. The immigrant families each developed farms where they worked together creating an agrarian utopia. Other Swiss Americans moved to Helvetia, and its residents branched out into their own timber industry. Helvetia became famous for its uniquely Swiss culture that is preserved through traditions like Faschnacht, a festival held the last Saturday before Lent, and is considered the Swiss Mardi Gras. Masks and costumes were worn from centuries-old traditions to celebrate the end of winter. Today, Helvetia is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The residents warmly welcome tourists and guests to experience the culture of the true Switzerland of America.